What it do, homies? New episode of The Amazing Digital Circus. This time we're checking out the mystery of Milden Hall Manor. Can't wait to see some more of this universe being fleshed out. Let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. I can't hold it any longer. Sure you can. We can't die from oxygen deprivation, remember? But it still feels like I'm gonna die. Try not thinking about it. Or you could toughen up. I want to see what your funny cartoon body does. Hey, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. That's you. All right. Here I go. <gasps> you know, right when he said that, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the TV show Black Mirror, but they had that, uh, that, that Enterprise Captain whatever episode, I forgot what it was, where he took a sample of them and then he recreated them in like his own little universe and whatnot, right? And they can't die. No matter what they do, they can't die. That's kind of crazy, right? Considering they're in a different universe. What if samples was collected from them and now they're shoved into this universe? Just random thought. <laughs> All right, we've entered the blue zone. Hey, there's something new. Okay, we're getting red. Oh, I orange. Yellow. Green. Whoa, look! Now she's turning blue! She was already blue. <laughs> huh. Guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because something different happens with each person. For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Gangle's mask starts spinning, and Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up and fuck off. What about you? He refuses to show us because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. Okay, so, you know, that kind of makes, you know, it's like programs, right? That if they start glitching or if they try to self-terminate, if you will, right? Then it manifests itself in different types of ways. What do you? He refuses to show us because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. What do you, the viewers, think it is? Breaking a Can fourth wall. Hmm. Why is everybody just standing around when there's adventure to be had? Today's adventure is the mystery of Mildenhall Manor. That's right. This big spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity. It's up to you to solve the house's deep mysteries and capture all the ghoulish ghost activity you can. And for the first time ever, you can. Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and uh, mature. Just now you gotta them. repeat it. What? The NPCs aren't gonna become self-aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh wait, yes I am. <laughs> anyway, everybody into the fractal noise. He didn't it's answer the question. Time. I Oh, this place is spooky. I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares that well. Oh, me neither. <laughs> ah, come on, that wasn't even scary. What, you scared of the vacuum cleaner too? Hey, be nice to her. She's had a rough couple of days. Her and everyone else. Right, Gangle? <laughs> Does anybody hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Ghostly, and I'll be your guide today. Why won't they go back in? <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why they're not retracting, though. That didn't happen for me. Before you continue on your adventure, you have to choose which door you're going to go through. The door on the left is the normal door. Rated wow for all ages. The door on the right is the really scary door. Rated hot ah! for mature zoobles only. It's up to you to do this. Why the jacks? Luigi what? Mansion. I thought we were supposed to capture all the ghosts. Uh, which door should we choose? Hmm, not... Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, I can't... Okay, did he say that that was their objective to capture all the ghosts, right? Because I know there are some theories, you know, I haven't seen all the theories that's kind of talk about, you know, Jax has been there before, like he's an experienced person. You know, it'd be very interesting 
And it's probably happened in the last two episodes where they kind of reference real world events. Being in a mansion, you have this ghost and he caught it. What if that's what, you know, this is just head candy, but what if he, what if that's what he was referencing? He said he thought he had to because, you know, it was reminiscent of something that maybe he experienced in the real world. Ghosts. Which door should we choose? Hmm, not sure. Our Ghostbusters. Let's try this out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Kangol, I'll get it for you. <laughs> oh, that's the scary door. Zubo, come on out. I just want to talk to you. Hmm. Oh, I know. What the, could you have done that the whole time? Zubal, I, I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. Uh, Bubbles' feelings? N enough about Bubbles' feelings! How about your feelings? I... So, what's on your mind, Zubal? I... would rather not. <laughs> That's hilarious! Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember. Very because... passive. Oh, never mind. My mind is a beeswax polished coconut. Nothing ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do to make my adventures more appealing to you? See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Interesting what analogy. What you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just... Ugh, forget it. You're probably not even listening. Zubal, look at this cool bee I drew. <laughs> uh, wh where are we? Oh, that's... No. <laughs> I do the same thing if I see something like that. Just know, to say it softly to myself. Thing is. My name is Baron Theodore Mildenhall. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember. Although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, <coughs> but not quite an animal. Something unholy, something evil. I took it upon myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling, this inescapable dread. I was wrong. What if he turned you know, into the monster? I'm starting to think. How about we try to find a way back <laughs> up to the others? Okay, cool. That's great. I love these adventures. It's like the Matrix. We could always ride this thingy up. The code unchanged. It's locked. It's locked, of course. It's locked. I love that it's locked. Tuesday, December 4th. Although I had shot the creature multiple times in its vitals and severed its head to keep as a prize on my wall, my troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute, and when I looked back, the body was gone. The creature was not dead, and it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. If anyone is listening to this, all I ask of you is one thing. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. Oh, this is some rather inconvenient lore placement. I got it. I honestly, bro, I was just thinking the same thing, lore placement. Also, I was sitting there thinking the first videotape could have been placed anywhere, right? Because he says the head that lied before you, it could have been placed anywhere. But yes, inconvenience, right? You know, some Resident Evil type stuff. You know what I mean? Scour the whole entire map looking for the key. The key is in the first room you just came from. Like, okay, all right. <laughs> And this is some rather inconvenient darkness. <laughs> what was that? Was that you? No. Oh, wait. You mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Is this your hand? Uh, that 
That's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matters. Will you stop touching my eye? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> what happened? I just remembered a really funny joke. Uh, you, why did you scream then? Maybe it wasn't actually that funny. Oh my god. That was the auditor. Think my dad jokes. We should hold on to each other and slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. I like this animation change. What was that? What's what? That. It's probably just magnets. Or a boat. Uh, a boat? Well, whatever the case. I think we should be completely quiet. It could be a boat. I... Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree. You know, you're really hit and miss with these things sometimes. Wait. There's a fly in here. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? Oh, God, there is a fly. And gotcha. I think I got him. I can't see my hands. I'm sorry, could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. Tommy! I think this might be the creature from the tapes! You look beautiful, honey. Huh? Oh, yeah. Prepare for takeoff, because this boat is going up. Huh? That's not up. That's not up at all. Why are we going up? Up! I want to know something, man. It's, it's, it's possible that this Milton Hall Manor might just be a, a huge collection of, uh, you know, kind of uh, references right or not not offs to pop culture as far as horror right because i was talking about not necessarily always just pop culture thrillers thriller and horrors right because I, I saw the matrix i saw uh luigi's mansion that monster with the you know that kind of reminded me of a uh, pennywise right dead lights that, that's what they called it right getting lured in and kind of sucking it sucked in on it so and then this right here i can't met i can't remember what getting trapped in this laundry thing is but it that's interesting, right? That the whole thing is just horror pop references just all merged into into one. I do not use my adventures to torture my guests. Any torment I inflict is 100% accidental, like any good war criminal. We weren't even talking about that. I really couldn't give less of a crap about the adventures. Then what is your problem, Zubal? I'm trying my best to remember, but both you and my brain won't tell me. It's me, remember? I don't like myself. I hate this body. I hate all these stupid removable pieces. I just want to find something that feels good. Oh yeah, now I remember why I couldn't remember. It's because that problem is already solved. Simply swap out your undesirable Zubal parts for better ones. I've been trying to find parts I like since the day I got here. So back to the adventures. Forget it. Temporary forget solutions. It. Just forget it. Forget what? Kane, nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha! Good one, Zubal. Ragatha's just too nice to say anything. Jax just likes to fuck with everybody. Gangle's too shy to speak up. Kinger's insane. And, and Pomni, she looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. Oh, Zubal, Zubal, Zubal. Making adventures is my art. It's all I exist to do, all I'm good at. And, uh, what you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> that'd be... Uh, whose therapy session is this again? Oh yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your behavioral issues! I'm gonna show you some ink blots, and you're gonna say the first word that comes to your mind. Uh, well, 
Oh god, where are we now? I'm not sure. A cellar of some kind. Things have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Theoretical. Jumping at every shadow, every noise. I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Okay, well... I... Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. So he did become the monster. Please don't come alive. Okay, I won't. <laughs> Looks like we've got two shots. Let's make them count. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Stay behind me. Yeah, they really up the creep factor. I think we may have a problem this way, too. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. Which is what I would be saying if I didn't know that the creature <laughs> was actually one of God's angels. What? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. I apologize, dear sir, but I need a living host in order to escape the Hall of the Damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. Mm. Now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? I hope you're ready. Because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Let go of me! <laughs> I hate this stupid adventure! Mmm, good tea. Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh. You know how scary men movie. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> Don't I know it? <laughs> if your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57 second story into a Greek tragedy. I'll be sure to ask them next time I see him. Thanks again for the tea. I had a really nice time here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit anytime. Definitely. That's his wife. I'm surprised she's so nice, considering, you know, she got blown to bits. Congratulations, my little ironclad waffle cones! You've taken the pacifist route, and you should be proud of what good people you are! Unfortunately, we still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave! I wonder how long that'll be. Not really typical of what you'd think hell would be. We are literally in hell that's right probably, now. That's probably what hell. hell is just like. Of course I'd be in hell. How could I not be in literal hell right now? Not just what you think it is. Try to stay calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape. Oh, it's damned. Hold on. Let me try something. Hey, there's actually a staircase down there. It could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies? Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, Pommy! Pommy! 
in there as a host. Souls are attracted to living things. Yes, some has wife was. To be able to leave with. Or do you say life? Man, seven years of computer science for this, huh? huh? Why? Every day I spend here is one nightmare after the next. I knew it would end up like this. He, he just wants me to suffer. I really am in hell. Don't say that. You're not in. Well, I. I guess we are technically in. <laughs> Forget about that. How about we just relax for a bit while nothing's chasing us? <laughs> it was my fault we went down this path, wasn't it? I'm really sorry for that. Why have you been acting so different lately. <laughs> I have, haven't I? I'm normally not too good with memories, but being surrounded by darkness always brings me back to a certain time. Right after my wife had abstracted. Oh, I, okay, I don't recall that's right. the exact string of events, but we both ended up in the fort together. Interesting. The the little ghost thing, which obviously was constructed, you know, by, by I, don't forget, I don't know why I'm forgetting the mouth guy's name for some reason, slipping my hand, asked him, how was his wife and everything? And it kind of makes sense given who constructed this game, but. Hmm. And it was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. She wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. I'm always taken back to that moment when engulfed in darkness. You had a wife? Like, here in the circus? Yeah. She was funny, creative, really into entomology. Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure. I was like, did they say that or something already or they haven't? Okay. All right, so that, then then I give sense as to why that monster said, how's your wife? Okay. I used to hate bugs, but she somehow got me to like them. It's not the most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. I know how I can feel in this circus. Sometimes it all just feels pointless. Yeah. But it's not. Not if you have people who care about you. Good memories can do a lot. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. You never know when they'll be gone. In this world, the worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. Mm. I'm glad you're here with me. You know, I've been thinking about that last tape. He said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. So don't, Maybe we can get through if don't we breathe. don't breathe. I'm not very good at holding my breath. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? we leave and we go back to the circus you're just gonna go back to being crazy you're not gonna remember any of this are you don't worry about me as long as you remember it things will be okay you're very strong upon me and i know you'll be able to get through this 
She seems Just to be, hold on to me. She seems to be the one out of all we'll of them. We'll get through it together. That has the least amount of problems. You ready? She's just scared and losing her mind about all the situational stuff, which can't really blame her for. Anybody would do that. I don't think she has any additional issues, though. Okay? Was it scary? I'm fine, actually. What happened up here? Uh, don't worry about that. Pomni was very brave. At least I think she was. Were you? Something like that. Hey, Ragatha. Yeah? I just want to say thanks for always being concerned about me. I feel like through everything. I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pomni. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. You know, we care about you. Did you remember to get my comedy mask? <laughs> and, and now I'm, I'm just starting to wonder. You know, it's almost as if these games, these adventures that, he, that she's being put through is almost like it's conditioning her. Right, because her bravery, right? She, she experienced getting over. I can't remember. First one was, you know, it was kind of crazy. Second episode, she lost. Uh, what was his name? Gummy. You're right, getting over the, not getting over it, but experiencing the power of loss. And then this one, kind of getting over her fears. So I wouldn't be surprised if Pomni's being groomed, if you will, to be maybe the next host or entertainment because i was just saying that she has the least amount of problems and maybe all these other people are kind of failures but jack he might just be a little egocentric but okay if the wild west was even a real direction at all whoopsie daisy looks like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home quick pretend we weren't having a therapy session okay welcome back my meowing milkmaids don't ever call us that again. <laughs> so what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It wasn't that bad, actually. Okay. You know, when they were underneath and right before they went into that green mist and he took his eye out and threw it, the first thing that came to my mind immediately was Hercules, right? Where they was talking to the uh, Sisters of Fate and it was around a green eye swirl and everything. If there were some, uh, if there would have been a spirit that came and took his eye, right? And then formed around it, I would be like, okay, okay, wait a minute now. <laughs> Anyways, you guys let me know your theories on this down in the comments. Dave's out.